print today we are going to discuss about the different sources of population data because we know that in our research and study about the population resources we need to understand the population characteristics of a region and recently the growth and rate of population changes is very dynamic therefore where we will get the population data it is very ricket very important topic to understand because the study about the population that can be depend on its sources and characteristics of the population data of any region or world so there are different sources of population data first that you know is the census census is a systematically acquiring and recording information about the member of a given population systematically acquiring or recording information about the member of a given population before 1941 the enumeration system of the population is the de facto that is enumeration has been done with respect to the location of a certain point of time has been based on its location of a certain point of time right the hatton that is who is the census commissioner in 1931 had suggested a modification in this system of enumeration and it suggested to this your method this your method that is instead of recording actual individual found at a place during the prescribed hour he suggested that the census should be cover individual normally located at every dwelling place in that area and especially in india it was in the it was simultaneously nonsense simultaneously started during the 1865 to 1872 Her first simplest census was initiated in 1881 in India, and 2011 census was the 15th census of India, which motto was "Our Census." our future as per the 2015 census the indian population was 121 crore with a literacy rate of 74.04% and the growth rate of population was 
Next, another important source of sources is the registration of vital events. The civil registration system is the system that records the vital events like birth, death, marriage, of its citizens in India. The primary purpose of this registration system is to create a legal document to create a to create a legal document that can be established and protect the right of individual. And this system registers all the birth and death rates, issue of birth and death certificates, including the cause of death information also recorded through this system. Third is sample registration scheme. The sample registration scheme has been inserted in India in 1960s to provide a reliable estimate of the birth and death rates at state and national level. State and national level. The sample registration system provides a reliable annual data on fertility and mortality at the state and national level also. Next is the national sample survey. This national survey conducted an integrated survey covering the various aspects of the housing condition during the periods from 1950s. This national sample survey having the four division. First is the survey design and research division. Field operation division. Data Processing Division and Coordination and Publication Division. Publication Division. So there is a whole different cycle of the survey extending over a period of 10 years.
the national family and health care service the international institute of for population sciences located in mumbai international institute for population sciences was initiated from 1992 to create a database in india to achieve the objectives by providing information on population growth and determinants population growth determinants they are covering the following characteristics of the population data like fertility nuclearity nuclearity unwanted fertility family planning use and infant and child mortality child nutrition and health reproducing health of the population characteristic at the national and state level the another important source of the population characteristics that is demography survey that is the sample consists of only a fraction of the total population by by this demographic survey we can acquiring the information of the up to date results of a complete count and checking the accuracy and supplementing of the data of current complete complete count so these are the basic sources of the population data that will be very useful for the study of population and to understand the various distribution of the population in a given region because without this population data it is difficult to understand and estimate or make a planning for the population or demographic characteristics of a region thank you for watching this video